So you guys, like, you know, just speaking of live acts, like, who's going, has anybody, like, braved any of the live shows that are happening in the area, like, at this time? Because y'all know, like, the improv... The improv in Irvine, because you know, there's improvs everywhere, right? So the improv in Irvine is actually having drive-in comedy shows. Like, anybody? Well, on that same token, uh, this is actually something hot off the presses, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a movie that uh, uh, Christopher Nolan is supposed to have already had out, but it's been delayed, called Tenant. Right. With, uh, with uh, Denzel Washington's son. uh -huh. They, uh, John David. John David. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry. My, my, my bad. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently they don't want to release it in the drive throughs uh, So wow. there's a controversy going on right now that is basically uh, nobody knows whether if it's the if it's the director, Christopher Nolan, or if it's Warner Brothers or both that is telling uh, cities that only have drive throughs uh, you know, the uh, theater, regular theaters get dibs. Uh, so you can't have it. Unless you're willing to open, but it's like we can't open, we're not allowed to, not open, to open, right? So it's just interesting that you have something like Bill and Ted Three that comes out tomorrow that is saying limited release in theaters, right? And then VOD because they want to make money. Like who? Like who's gonna remember? And I don't get me wrong, I love Christopher Nolan's movies, but who's gonna remember that movie in six months if nobody saw it? Right, 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 right. I'll just right. watch Black Widow and then it'll be like. <laughs> right like you need to accommodate people with the, what's going on right now in the pandemic show your damn movie like yeah. drop the ego and show the fucking movie i'm sorry who am i but still i'm a movie fan i want to see the movie i'm not going to take i'm not going to go out then come back and get my kid sick with corona and be like yeah man that was a great movie <laughs> right I, I also think it's so much easier to fart at a drive through because then only my family complains that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we, we get that. So, like AMC theaters are actually like opening with fifteen cent tickets. Like that's, I think they they open like they're trying to entice. But I'm, I you know I would rather go for as Dan mentioned the trap car situation. Um, you know, and be stuck in there than to potentially, you know, be in a theater stuff and like you said and, you know, um, and I think it's, it's interesting because I think it does. It makes it tough for those of us who are creators, you know, who you who doesn't want your property out in the the uh, larger on the larger screen. But by the same token, who's trying to risk their life? You know, we're trying to do mail in voting, all that. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. But I, I have to admit, like, um, I got to ask the question, what was the first thing I was going to do once quarantine was over? And for me, it's like run to a stage to do stand up. So, I mean, we're all chomping at the bit. Right. I'm to... desperate for, for that live feedback, man. I mean, I'm not going to criticize. I'm thankful we have the Zoom or mm. anything we can do online. I really am. Everyone's a beautiful person for doing it. But mm -hmm. that it's really hard to know if something works. If you're And no offense to anybody. This is, Again, this is a statement of love and, right. and appreciation for everybody. I'm sure everyone's going through a similar thing. You go to a, a safe space to do some jokes. Those same 10 people are at the same uh, same three other open mics you do the same day. <laughs> you know, how, how do you know if it works? Mm -hmm. You know, right. it's a, it's a, I'm just happy there is open mics though. So again, I'm not trying to complain. Right. I, I, can, I can understand yeah. the frustration that's growing from everybody because you're telling the same, sometimes the same 10 people, <laughs> the same damn joke. Yeah. Does it work? Does it, are they laughing or do they feel sorry for me? I don't know. Is it the face? Is it only the face? Right. Even make a face. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's what we're all trying to figure out. But I think so, has, so I guess so I think we need to do like a field trip. I think we need to try one of these drive in um shows uh for the like the, the improv out in Irvine. Like I think we need to just do I don't know, what do y'all think? I think we need to do a um I'm um, down to like we do a, do a show it. while we're watching a movie from each of our cars, like no 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 we can't talk right now. This part's cool. Right, right, get no, my no, chin. No, no. So no, no, actually do the field trip. Like we should go so that we could like, you know, we'd be able report, to share. Yeah, report back on it. Report okay. back, like to let everybody know, hey, you know, it, it kind of works because they have, like, I mean, I'm trying to, uh, I, like, I, honestly, I will say this. They haven't really turned up anybody that I want to see, but, you know, but when they do have Ali Sadiq or let's just say the best of all worlds and we know Dave Chappelle is doing his stuff, you know, out on the farm okay. doing the special, the secret yeah. show, but let's just say they do turn up you know what? And so to anybody, what do you do? So they, so let's just say hypothetical, if Dave Chappelle was going to be at the drive-in Irvine improv, who's going? Oh, no, of course. I, well, okay. On that note, 
I bought yeah. tickets to see uh, Dave Chappelle and Seinfeld for Netflix is a joke. I recently just got the money back for that. And then I bought tickets for Joe Rogan at the forum. And I just recently got money back for that. Okay. Uh, uh, well, you know, you need that money. It's like a savings program. But but also uh, on Facebook, there was uh, one of my Facebook friends. He's in the high desert. He was going, who wants to hold a live show? You know, get some musicians together and do a live show, you know. And someone wrote back to him, are masks required? And he put no. And then I had to put a comment. This is why I'm not going to live shows yet, guys. And then I get laughed at by a bunch of people in the high desert, you know, for some reason. What, what were you going to say, Stacy? Well, Nick just mentioned it. I bought tickets to Stranger uh, Stranger Things, the the drive-in thing. Uh, they're partnered up with Fever Up. Apparently, there was one for Marvelous Miss Maisel. I didn't know about it. Oh it my God! For real? Tell me, yeah. Ooh, that's my but show. I think I, I I think I paid like eighty bucks for two people in a car, and I'm like, all right, okay. I mean, the difference is how I'm long is the experience? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know what to expect. Are, are they gonna? scare me while i'm in the car like i do i are they gonna tell us by the way aren't they doing the haunted hayride driving now like isn't that what they're gonna do this I year think so. i think because so it's a smart thing to scare somebody at the wheel like oh, oh yeah. yeah and then they accelerate and then run over the person that decided to scare them like i'm Someone... a physical person if somebody scares me i will hit you Someone's I will probably getting... hit you with my car if you scare me in the car. Yeah, so, someone's right. getting ran over. <laughs> you, you shouldn't go to. You should not go to Not Scary Farm. You know, it's just not a good plan for you. I could wow. see someone come out and just. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. They scared the shit out of me. But I will say that. <laughs> right, I will say this. Now, on the other hand, Stacy, I love marvelous Miss <laughs> Maisel. The drive-through experience is not necessarily what I want, but I'll go. But I won't lie; I don't know that I would pay that kind of money to see something that I was already watching on TV anyway. Like on the other, like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, if I'm gonna go out there, I'm you know then I'm gonna try to see like okay, so like comedian Brad Williams, like the, the kind of y'all know who Brad Williams is, the like the the yeah, the short I made the thing. joke the other night. <laughs> <laughs> so he. He did a, uh, you know, he did a drive-in show on August twenty second. Like, if I was a fan, I would go. But like for the marvelous Miss Miss Maisel, which I watched on TV, um, I don't know that I would pay money to, to to go. But I do think, uh, I do think that this is worth investigation. Honestly, if there's somebody that we want to see, but I love the marvelous Miss Maisel. I won't I lie. I do too. But apparently, all they gave you when when you went to go see the show in your car was. Uh, a bag of popcorn that was pink and somebody just cleaned your windshield during the show that's all you got oh yeah no like no rachel brosnahan is gonna have to put on a mask and come in and shake my hand like something like something yeah. we gotta, you know i'm saying you know or either tony shalhoub or for that matter sterling brown like whatever so we're gonna have to do a little more for 40 bucks 80 bucks um than pink popcorn and because i can do my windshields myself like that's okay i got it i got it oh well, yeah uh, don't, yeah <laughs> Oh, well, Disney is actually, because the pandemic's still going, they're releasing Mulan on Disney+, Plus, but you have to pay an extra $30 yep. on top of your subscription. Some yep. people are complaining, but think about it. How much do you pay to go to the movie theater with another person in California? Okay. 30 bucks. I'm a girl. Nothing. Okay, well, oh, I'm is this a new Mulan? Is this a new one? Yeah, this is a new one. Yeah. New, new new one, one with, uh, with okay, but still, even so, Dan, like, but I'm also, but if you, unless, again... Thirty bucks means that y'all gonna put some of those great chairs in here, some theaters. Like, like I'm, I'm sitting in, my, I'm still sitting in my home, and it's, and it's here. And, and with all due respect to Mulan, if I didn't have to pay extra for Hamilton, with honest to God, if someone said you're gonna have to throw an extra twenty on it to see Hamilton, I probably would have done that because it was the Broadway, yeah. you know, with Lynn, with Leslie, you know, with Oak Tree, with Dovey. You know what I'm saying? That well, I would have done. You got to think about it though. Well, you got you got to think about it though. Like, no one's going to make two hundred million dollar movies with streaming money, right? But and I mean, they, and no one well, knew. If I, I would just put it on the shelf, I would not. I would not try to recoup recoup that budget off of a streaming platform, and then have but and recoup it based on the subscribers who are already paying. Because the other thing is, to me, that's just. 
I mean, I'm sure that someone in a boardroom somewhere thinks that that makes sense. But right now, somebody is paying for BT Plus. Somebody is paying for Disney Plus. Netflix. A lot of us are paying for HBO Max. We're already, you know, some people, Apple TV, Net, you know, Netflix. Some of us are Amazon Prime. So even though that's embedded in our prime, like who, mm-hmm. like somewhere in there, someone's got to have enough foresight to say that if we're not going to all A, create one big plus sign with all of these, I don't think it's fair because we're all spending we're all easily spending thirty or forty, you know, bucks a month on um, uh, streaming platforms. And so well, they turned it into the cable program. Well, say that again. So they turned it into the same thing cable was doing to all of us. Right. Which so and I and I don't do it with cable. Me, me and cable do not get along for that very reason. So I want to I wanted to interject really quick. <clears throat> so basically, AMC and the, the I don't know if you'd call it film or theater association, the club that they have going for all the theaters that communicate with the studios, they were very upset at Universal for releasing Trolls 2. The thing is, is that people have to understand, uh, by doing that, the studio got about 98 to over 100 plus million dollars, okay? They needed the money. They still got to, some people still got to be paid, right? Right. So I get, I, I understand why they're doing it, but if we're, I agree with you on this too, Dana, if we're already paying for your service, then either two of two things have to happen. You're either giving us a discount because we are, you already have our loyalty, Right. right, number one, or number two, uh, just put it on VOD and make it cheaper, right? Right, like, right, right, right. I think that's the better option because then the people who want to see it will do it, and you can do it. And I think with trolls, bless the heart of trolls too, because trolls two came out early in the pandemic. I think you know, no one with all and all, just with all due respect, no one thought that we would be here in August. And my my thinking is that the reason that they went ahead and released, they probably thought, well. If we release it by the time people can go to the theaters, we can still recoup. They had no one had any idea in March that we would. I'm not going to cuss on here, but that we would fucking still be here in August. Do you know what I'm saying? It could be September. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, well, yeah. it's. I mean, yeah. you're not going to see a Marvel movie be made right now because they're not going to. It's not. They're not going to get the money off the of streaming to make it worthwhile. So Wait, Marvel, is there any Marvel shooting? Is there anything going? It's more Marvel. Uh, no, okay. they're going to pause it for now. Yeah. I'm going to just say mm-hmm. Disney, I think, is in a completely different category because Disney has diehard people. Yeah, Disney okay. has people that pay $2,000 to go to their theme parks. They don't care. They keep raising the prices every year. They don't <laughs> care. Like, yeah. They're like, yeah. we're rich already, uh-huh. and people keep following us. Like We're, right. we're untouchable. Right. Right. So I, I think it's going to be different, but luckily Disney does still have these things coming up like Black Widow, um, at WandaVision, which I'm actually really excited for. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a bunch of content coming out. So I think they're going to be okay. And that's why they're like, take our, you know, you want to see more? Pay $30, oh, okay? Yes. You're, yes. you're out of unemployment money, you'll find a way because you love us. <laughs> I think they're going to be fine. Right. Now that makes sense. That makes sense. I think it's unfortunate, but I but I can't say I disagree. That makes absolute sense. Um that we're, you know, that that's what it is, man. Because Mulan's a good one. I think we're all excited, but I'm just oh, yeah. saying, you know meh, meh. Uh, it's another live action made out of a cartoon that was already made. Jet Jet, Jet Lee. Jet Lee's in it. <laughs> I'm excited for Jet Lee. My right. other you know, my other thing for being excited about it, uh, you know, no offense to any, any, anyone at all by what I'm about to say, but you know, crazy rich Asians and stuff like that is not made very often. So when you actually make a movie with an all Asian cast, uh, you know, it's 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 a rare thing, right? right. Because right. forever it's always been different cultures playing different cultures instead right. of people playing their actual ethnicity or culture, representing their culture. So I I I'm I'm uh Excited to show my everybody. yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to show my daughter uh, something you know that uh, with people that look like her, right? Amen. You know, and uh, something that she could identify with. Because when I was young, you know, I loved Superman, but for the longest time, I never could figure out why there were never superheroes that looked like me. Even though I loved Superman as much as I did, I you know other kids could relate more than I could to it. And you know, not saying that because my mom made certain things more important than other things, but you know, you look in the mirror and look at other things and you know me, man, like, uh, we, all, we all got that same story i absolutely agree